Welcome to Emmett's Place, number 96. It's nice to see everyone here in the house and over the interwebs um, on the drums from South Hadley, <laughs> Massachusetts, near Boston. That's Mr. Joseph Farnsworth. From Los Angeles, California, the one and only master of the bass, Mr. Peter Washington. And today we have the great fortune of celebrating 50 years of the Keystone Corner, one of the most important jazz clubs, uh, venues, and uh, communities, record labels. Uh, Todd Barkin has done it all there. And uh, we continue to celebrate him in Baltimore, where we play. Uh, we all play. All, it's the great uh, jazz community of New York goes down and plays in Baltimore. Uh, it's one of the best lineups of any club around. And uh, he's been doing it for a long time. We got to know him when he was uh, running the show at Dizzy's Club. And we'd like to welcome him. He's an NEA jazz master and an all-around beautiful human being, the great Todd Barkin. And we, for this special occasion, we're going to have a few words from... Oh, yeah. Okay, into the light. Some bright moments. Yeah. Some bright moments. Okay, bright moments. So I'm, I'm deeply moved, and it's a wonderful occasion to celebrate here. This is one of the great venues of this music also, and so we feel very a kindred spirit here with what everything and anything that Emmett does here is, is near and dear to our hearts. And uh, so we got a, a gentleman that is on the phone that played at the original Keystone Corner, and he's calling up to congratulate what we're doing, and we're calling... And we're in turn congratulating him on a lifetime of, uh, of bright moments that he's shared with all of us. This is the legendary Lewis Hayes on the phone. And Lewis Hayes uh, just was accorded, recognized for a whole lifetime of achievement, which will continue and, and, and evermore inspire us and as he keeps inspiring us with, with the greatest uh, drumming in the world. So Lewis, would you like to say a couple words to our, our worldwide audience? music on a higher level, keeping it on in, in, involved in all the people in the world. I just said playing one, two, three, four is very difficult to do with feeling. That's for every instrument, and I enjoyed what the trio was playing there. Uh, I, I learned when I was very young, playing the drums and play for every instrument. Playing with feeling one, two, three, four is a difficult thing to do with that sense of timing and making, and I learned that when the people, when you're playing for people, and special people, when, they, when, you, when, you, when you play and you don't see people patting their feet, you have a problem. <laughs> uh, 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 so That's that, right, Louie. Yeah, that, that's a very, very important thing to be able to realize and think about when you are, are playing God for not just for yourself, and and to have a feeling where you know you 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 communicating with not only the artists that you're playing with, but the people in, in the audience. And Todd, I don't know, I don't have any idea how you got involved in this art form, but I'm very glad that, that you did because. Yeah. You have uh, done so much to promote it and to keep it going on a very high level. Amen. And thank you very much, Todd Barkin, for San Francisco. Yes, I had an opportunity to appear in the club in San Francisco. I, I could say a lot of things about the groups that I have appeared with and played and had an opportunity to make history with. But I, if, speaking of... of, uh, of uh, Keystone Corner. I'm, I'm pretty sure I played. I know I played it with Freddie Hubbard, Joe Henderson. That's right. And 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 we made history like that. I'm not sure about Dexter. Did I do do something with Dexter? Yes, you also? did play with Dexter also. There. <laughs> oh, okay, I wasn't sure, but I was. Yes, 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 Todd. Yeah. So you have played such a major part in this history and keeping things going and and. and, 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 and having a place where people could come 
and see and hear the music and the places were so magnificent there in San Francisco and here and, and in Baltimore they have such a, a people in, in Baltimore they this artist this music they look at it on such a warm they, they love it so much and you provided a place for the people to come and bring their wives and have dinner oh. and to sit and listen to the music is it's a magnificent place there in Baltimore this is a place you have there in Baltimore and well thank you Lewis you played there oh, too boy. and you got standing ovations every night you played there oh, that's so. Lewis Hayes Lewis Hayes can always do that <laughs> <laughs> all right all right, I've that's right. This Tell them I can hear you. I've been doing this. I came to New York. And, and I, I did this when I was a kid in Detroit. Uh, uh, I, I'm not going to go into all that, but I, I, it was it was so long about that me coming up, dealing with this art for me trip because I had the opportunity of being able to play places in teenage clubs and do those things in Detroit. Right. Because that was available, but in New York, uh, the Doug Watkins and Donald Bird, they were the ones that uh, set your horse silver and get the baby boy from <laughs> Detroit, and I and I joined Horse Silver in 1956, and and the rest is history, Lewis. The rest was just magnificent history. Horse I mean, you made you made so much history with with just with Horace and Cannonball. Uh, in addition to and and Coltrane and everybody you played with, man, it's it's been. And, 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 and I was listening to them, the, the trio. I like to say nasty. I mean, okay. uh, with Oscar Peterson two times, and that was Oscar Peterson. I was on a high a high level of Oscar Peterson. <laughs> but I like I like to I like to mention Phineas Newborn. Oh yeah. Uh, 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 Sam Jones and myself made a couple of CDs, no, a couple of albums, I should say, with with, with, with Phineas. And Phineas, that was magnificent to play with him, make that history, because Phineas was a, needless to say, but I just say Phineas Newborn. That's right. Finest, yeah. Finest. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Finest. Yeah, that's, that's what he liked to be called, Finest Newborn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lewis. We love you very, very much, man. <laughs> we love you and everything you've ever done. God bless you. Thank you for blessing us in our celebration of Keystone Corner, our celebration of you. We're celebrating you and all we love about this music. We opened up with some brilliant music to get us in the right frame of mind. So Emmett's going to let us know what's going to happen next. But Lewis Hayes, thank you for, for being here with us. And in, you're always with us in spirit. And your whole lifetime resonates with us, with everything you've done and will continue to do. Thank you, Lewis Hayes. Let's hear it for Lewis Hayes again. <laughs> Huh? Thank you for the feeling. Okay, thank you for the feeling. God bless you, man. Thank you. Okay. So let's uh, let's have some more music. Okay. Mark Whitfield. Let's hear it again for for our our host Emmett Cohen, our wonderful host Peter Washington, Joe Farnsworth, Mark Whitfield. It is time to swing once again. And Bruce Harris on the trumpet. All the government said it was
take a moment to thank some of our sponsors. Uh, that's Michael and Nancy Yaffe. Thank you so much for your generous sponsorship this evening. And uh, we have some co-presenters, uh, Jeanette Pina and the South Florida Jazz List. Uh, if you want to know what's, what's going on in the jazz world, that's your place to, to find out. They do South Florida and beyond. And uh, also Open Studio, uh, which is Peter Martin's, uh, P Peter Martin's uh, uh, online learning hub and I'm doing a master class for open studio on Friday so anyone that wants to find out more about that uh, you can go to openstudio.com um, yeah now back to our regular scheduled programming <laughs> uh, what do you think Todd you want to say something you want to introduce somebody else yeah this is your night man oh yeah yeah I wanted to as as uh, Lewis Hayes said yeah, even though I've told him several times when I originally opened up Keystone Corner, I went there to get a gig. I used to play with an Afro-Cuban uh, cover band, Quani and the Quanditos. <laughs> <laughs> and we played. <laughs> and we went, we, we went to a little beer bar in North Beach, and this is when I was 25 years old. And I went there, they said, well, you can't, uh, you can't have Latin jazz here because we only have beer, and jazz people want booze and wine, so you better but maybe I'll sell you the club because I want to open a big rock venue. You can buy this little beer bar and then you can get a liquor license, get some people to raise some money and buy a liquor license. Uh -huh. So um, I wound up buying the club when I was 25 years old for 80, uh, I had $8,500 to my name. He said, well, give me $5,000 down and $850 check to transfer the beer license from my name to your name and, uh, and another couple thousand dollars for the furnishings and you will be the owner of this little club and you can do whatever you want. You can hire your own band. And that's how the Keystone Corner Jazz Band, so the Jazz uh, Club started in 19, July of 1972. So here we are. And uh, the music, the, it's, it's one of the greatest experiences in, in, you, know, you can have in this music is just to hear live music and, and realize what a special, magical, quantity it is and one of the things we've learned in the last couple years is that live music is not something we can take for granted. It's a real blessing and a treasure and a pleasure for all of us. It's something really quintessentially essential for the human spirit and our music is among the most creative expressions of mankind and it's something to be proud of and something to be treasured even though you know we, we find out that the hardest part of most gigs is getting to the gig. Playing the music is, is a joy, and, and a joy, you know, just getting to the gig is the hardest part, and it's getting harder. So, but, you know, and, and one of the things that I feel so blessed about Emmett, and, and I've, I've gotten to know him quite well over the last decade or so, is that he's provided a home. This feels like Mary Lou's living room. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, Mary Lou Williams' living room felt like this, and it felt this warmth and this and this love, and, and that's what our music is all about, really. It sounds corny, but it's real. And uh, Keystone Corner has always been about that for the last 50 years, and it continues to be. And, and uh, just the, it, did the same thing happened with Keystone Corner. I worked at Jazz Lincoln Center for a good number of years with Wynton Marsalis, and then I was, I was awarded the NEA Jazz Master Award down at the Kennedy Center, and the host of our awards dinner was a guy that owned a French restaurant, and he and I became friends, and we decided to do something nice together. So we looked all over DC, we couldn't find the right place, and he actually had a place he was gonna close down in Baltimore, and then we found out there hadn't been a jazz club in Baltimore in over 30 years. So we wound up opening a jazz club in Baltimore, and uh, it was a muscle bar and grill. We had to take about 20 beer steins out, and, and a bunch of television sets, and build a stage, and. And now Baltimore has its first uh, jazz club in, in three decades. Yes, so yes. You, it's, a, it's a labor of love, but it's a great blessing and a privilege. And so let's make some more music. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a Quartet and invite Julius up. Okay, here we go. So we're going to invite one of our very special guests the evening, a uh, great young pianist. He's getting older now. He used to be young. <laughs> uh, well, a good friend of mine, this is Julius Rodriguez. He's been on the show before. 
Julius Rodriguez. And, uh, <laughs>
Rodriguez. We're gonna invite to the stage one one of, one of the Harlem legends, one of the Emirates Place <laughs> staples, Miss Lucy Egazarian. Yeah. I don't know about Harlem legend. I was recently speaking to Bernard Harper and he said, where are you living right now? And I said, <laughs> and I said, Harlem. And he said, well, they'll let anyone in these days. <laughs> so there you go. So. How you doing, Bernard? Schubert tune with a 
about a woman that's slowly but surely losing it. Uh, uh, this is called a blow top blues.
Considering the rest of the musicians here, I'm, a, I'm kind of a newbie to this business, but as an immigrant, <laughs> jazz music was what America was to me before I immigrated here. And it's the best American export we have. And I want to thank, thank Todd for taking care of it here at home through places like the Keystone Corner. So thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right, we have Benny Benack in the house. Would you like to play one, sing one? No, don't sing. Please. I need my job, all right? Oh man, what 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 can be said that hasn't already been said? Uh, you know, you, it's uh, we've coming up on a hundred Emmett's places, and uh, there always seems to be another guest around the corner, another luminary, another master, another legend that uh, makes their way up the five flights here to apartment five B, and uh, there's no one, no one more special, right? Huh? Well, no, they know the address. The, the, the boxes of wine and, you know, the gifts, that they're already there at the front door. So, you know, you mean, you mean a lot to all of us, and, you know, I'm sure it's, it's a pleasure that you're here. And uh, we know how important Freddie Hubbard was to the Keystone Corner. And uh, he's one of my heroes, as well as Bruce Harris, as well as anyone else that ever picked this thing up and tried to play it. So we're going to do a little tune that Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers used to do, Ugetsu, a.k.a. Fantasy in D. Bruce, we you know we might need you at some point.
Yeah, I think Cedar Walton is smiling. Yeah. Cedar Walton is smiling down on that one. You know, one of the things about this music that that is one of the abiding wonders of it is is the you know, what we call partners in time about how relationships last and grow and develop and and that's one of the things you hear here is that this vocabulary, this tune that they just played was played in the in the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s and in this century and it, it eternally sounds new and fresh because of the people and the respect that these people have for what the living tradition of this music is. It's a living legacy. So thank you for being a part of this living legacy and what are we gonna what are we gonna live live to do next? What's our on our agenda? Some bright moments? A short version. Okay, you can't we can't talk about Keystone Corner without uh, talking about Rasan Roland Kirk because he was actually a guy I met on the bus when I was nine years old and I wondered if he had all this stuff around his neck and I said, Wow, what is that? And he had his nose flute and his other things around his neck. He had a long stick with a, a wheel on the end of it. But he was going to see his girlfriend on the on the west side and I was just going to a Columbus Jets game, a baseball game. But it turned out we lived pretty close to, get to one another, and so I got to listen to some records. And he really helped me you know, get deep into the music at a pretty young age, and, and it's been an, an abiding you know, love affair of my whole life. So in one of the songs he wrote, which it became the theme song of Keystone Corner, and I'm gonna do my attempt, I, I wrote the lyrics for this song, and Rasan wrote the melody. So it became the anthem of Keystone Corner, and uh, so we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do a little rendition of it, impromptu here. And it's uh, you know, music by Rossan Roland Kirk and lyrics by Todd Barkin. And uh, the lyrics go as as follows. <laughs> Loves a dream that I feel. You can always make. When you go where your heart and your soul seem to go, every moment will be bright as sunlight. When you listen to that song inside, let the light in your soul burn the darkness today. Let the song in your heart lift your troubles away. Can't you see that love can be a sharing of bright moments? Bright moments, bright moments, bright moments, bright moments, bright moments, right now. Oh, oh. Love to dream that I feel you can always make green when you go where your heart and your soul seem to go. Yeah. To that song inside Let the light in your soul Burn the darkness today Let the song in your heart Lift your troubles away Can't you see that love can be A sharing of bright moments Bright moments Bright moments Bright moments, bright moments, bright moments, right now.
song in your heart lift your troubles away. Let the light in your soul burn the darkness today. Of the dream that I feel, you can always make real when you go where your heart and your soul seem to go. Every moment will be bright as sunlight when you listen to that song inside. Let the light in your soul burn the dark. Today, let the song in your heart lift your troubles away. Can't you see that love can be a sharing of bright moments, 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 bright moments. Bright moments, bright moments, bright moments, bright moments, bright moments, right now. Bright, and Rasan used to say, these bright moments are for all the people in the world that don't know shit about bright moments, so check them out. So, yeah, so, that's what the bright moments are for all the people. We don't realize how fortunate we are. We got live music. There are two billion people in the world that don't have any live music. So, we are very fortunate. We're very blessed. And thank all of you for being here. Where are we going to go on this musical journey now? Okay. Some brighter moments. Yeah, let's do two trumpets. Let's do a two trumpet number with Bruce and uh, and Benny.
Urban Act, Bruce Harris, the great Joe Farnsworth on drums. <laughs> One of the greatest to ever play the bass, that's Mr. Peter Washington. Uh, we're gonna do one last one last tune, but before that, I'd like to once again thank Michael and Nancy Yaffe for your generous sponsorship of this evening's show. And uh, we also like to thank Jeanette Pena and the South Florida Jazz List. And you can go to their website, southfloridajazzlist.com, subscribe and find out what's going on around the globe. And also to Open Studio, uh, which is one of the great educational programs that exists online, run by Peter Martin. And uh, I'm doing a master class on Friday uh, for Open Studio. For anyone who'd like to join, you can visit openstudio.com slash masterclass, I believe. And it's in the newsletter, and it's in, every, it's in the description, so you can go check it out. Uh, so we'd like to welcome Lucy back up and everyone else. This is going to be one last, one last tune. Well, so thank there. you very much. <laughs> and a big hand for the Keystone Corner, Todd Barkin, 50 years. The hardest thing in the world is to be consistent, Todd, and you've been consistent throughout the years, so thank you for, for bringing music to so many people for so many years. And, uh, you know, I've, 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 only, I've only known you this decade, uh, but the things you've accomplished have, have changed my life and many others, and uh, have had a real impact on, on many who want to play this music and strive to play this music. So thank you so much. Todd Barkin. He wants to say something. No, I don't want to thank all of you. Um, Emmett and Julius and Peter and Joe and um, Mr. Whitfield. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me go out here. I just want to thank Emmett and what he just said and, and all of the people, Benny and, and everybody that has been playing tonight for keeping the spirit of this music evermore alive and ever more present because that's what we're all here for. We're keeping this spirit ever more going and ever more alive. And so that's what Bright Moments is all about, really. It's about keeping that spirit alive. No matter, no matter what uh, befalls us, this music is a transcendent and tremendously unifying force. So thank you, Emmett, and thank all of you for keeping this music going. Thank you.
Gazarian, Orange Julius Rodriguez, Benny Benack, and once again Todd Barkin. Thank you to Kelvin Grant on sound, Alex Weitz on video design, and George Box on piano tuning. And no matter what, don't let anybody ever tell you that swinging is corny or the blues are corny, because they ain't corny, and they never will be. And it, as uh, Joe Frazier was said when it's uh, when he was asked the condition of the heavyweight division, he said it's more better than it were be. So, so, but never let anybody tell you that the blues or swinging is corny because it's the essence of what we do. And we just make it broader and wider and, and more powerful. Thank you. Congratulations, 50-year anniversary of the Keystone Corner, Todd Barkin.